All right, my dearies, we are still in chapter six. We are studying fish. We will be reading, you will be reading page 95 through 97. You'll actually start your reading um, at smelly fish and you'll stop when you get to lateral lines, okay? We're actually gonna be talking about the fish senses. Just like humans, we can see, we can smell, we can taste, we can hear, we can touch, feel things. Fish also have senses, and so um, my question is, can fish smell, can fish see, and can fish hear? In your reading, you should have, you should be able to answer that, and the answer is yes to all of those. Um, they actually have a very good sense of smell. We have two nares, I'm gonna point to my nares, nostrils. Fish actually have four. Two, the water come, passes in through two of them, and then two of them, that water passes out. And just like when we smell mom baking cookies in the kitchen, the, those uh, uh, cookies give off a chemical in the air, and the air brings those to our nose. We smell them. The ner we have nerve endings that pick up those chemicals, and we're able to smell those chemicals. And we know that mom is making chocolate chip cookies. Fish are the same way. They can smell in the water, and I've never really thought about fish being able to smell before, have you? I, I don't know, I guess because I can't, I don't want water going in my nose in the water, but um, the fish have um, four nares, and so they can do that. Um, can fish see? Yes, they can. Um, they have, Most of them have the, the eyes on each side. Um, those that live closer to the surface are, and they have more sunlight are able to see quite well. Those that are deeper in the ocean, their eyes tend to be a lot bigger so that they can absorb more of the light because there's not as much down there. They're not able to see as well. Um, it's much darker, the things that they see. Can fish hear? Now, when I go in the water, I can't hear very well. Um, it's muffled. You know, as you've tried to talk to your friend, like pretending to have a tea party or something under the water, and you can't hear very well. well fish um, have the kind of ears they need. God is wonderful and perfect and created them and made them um, so that they could do well in the water. And they have the perfect kind of ears for being able to hear underwater. And uh, they are able to hear if there's a shark chomping on um, something else, and they know to avoid it. So when we go into water, it's pretty quiet, but for fish, it is not. They hear everything that's going on because of that sound that travels in the water. Um, so they use all of their senses, and tomorrow we'll talk about a different sense. All right, and when you read that, and I apologize for the noise in the living room. I am trying to um, video, and they're not being very quiet. Um, so along with that goes our verse, Mark 1, 17. Come follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. What do you think Jesus meant by this? Okay, so we've talked about that when he was talking to them about something that they knew. They knew that when you go out in the water, you drop your nets and you catch fish, and we bring them to you. To be fishers of men, you go out and you catch men, you bring men to Jesus. And so they are fishers of men. So, anyway, that is uh, science for today. Go ahead and do your, um, you've already done your reading, and that's the main thing. But uh, we, I will be getting a study sheet to you, um, a little bit of a review, what makes a fish fish. It would be having gills to breathe and fins to help them maneuver around in the water. I want you to know the names of those fins and what they do, uh, the different shapes, the uh, fuselage, uh, fusiform actually, <laughs> fusiform. It's bullet shaped on both ends. You have the eel like, which is like a ribbon. You have the comp the de depressed, which is like the flounder, but it has the eyes on the same side. The compressed is the majority of probably what we're we're accustomed to seeing is the fish like this that has an eye on each side. So if it sees um, a predator coming this direction this eye and it sees a cave up at the other eye, it's going to dart off to the cave to hide. So it comes in handy. God is a wonderful creator and um, he's done a, a wonderful job. 
and it's really neat to see me and you know on Facebook I'll, I'll um, post different videos uh, for hopefully your parents to to see and to share with you of some beautiful underwater um, uh, videoing that people have done it's just gorgeous and it's amazing to see God's creation under the water so um, hopefully we'll be able to get to I'm going to try to research some Prime videos or Netflix videos um, that have to do with the ocean, which I can let y'all watch, I, that I've watched and approve of. So, hopefully you've enjoyed your reading so far, and um, remember to be reviewing your fish fins and what they're called, and where they're located, and what they do. All right.